During the last 40 years, the number of silicon transistors per chip has increased exponentially. It has now reached a state where a single computer chip hosts more than a billion transistors and several kilometers of interconnecting copper wires. However, the ohmic resistance of the latter has become a severe bottleneck for electronic data transfer. Silicon photonics is considered a possible solution for this problem. This highly active research field aims at replacing electronic signals for data transfer between chips and within a chip by optical signals. The main advantages are reduced energy dissipation and increased speed. Key components for optical interconnects are efficient light sources that can be monolithically integrated into silicon digital circuits using standard silicon device technologies. This is not a simple task, because both silicon and the compatible semiconductor germanium are so-called indirect semiconductors, which are inefficient light emitters. A promising approach to overcome this problem is the use of nanoscale silicon germanium quantum dots. Under laser excitation, or electrically pumped, such quantum dots emit light in the near-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Still, light emission is too weak to be used for optical data processing. One way to significantly enhance the emission properties of such quantum dots is to embed them in optical resonators. Within a resonator, only light waves with distinctive wavelengths, so-called cavity modes, are sustained. As a result, a silicon germanium quantum dot in the center of such a cavity will show dramatically enhanced emission at wavelengths that match the cavity modes. Among the different ways of realizing optical cavities, photonic crystal cavities are probably the most versatile ones. Here, the mirror-like behavior of the cavity is based on the periodic variation of materials with different refractive index. A simple version consists of a dielectric layer containing a periodic pattern of air holes in the two lateral dimensions. A missing hole in the center of the structure defines the cavity where we want to put a silicone germanium quantum dot. The surrounding hole array acts as if mirrors would encircle the dot. The fabrication of such a cavity structure starts with the growth of periodically arranged silicon germanium quantum dots. These dots are fabricated on a pit pattern substrate by epitaxial growth. During germanium deposition, quantum dots start to nucleate in the pits, resulting in an array of perfectly ordered quantum dots. To define the air hole pattern of the photonic crystal cavity, we use electron beam lithography. This technique is based on local modifications of an electron-sensitive polymer film that is irradiated with a focused electron beam. The exposed film areas can be selectively removed, whereas the non-exposed areas remain on the sample, acting as a mask during the following etching step. For that purpose, reactive ions in a plasma are accelerated towards the negatively charged sample, thereby removing the substrate material in all areas that are not protected by the mask. The etching step for the air holes also removes the quantum dots except the one in the center of the cavity. To characterize the optical properties of the sample, light emission under laser excitation is measured. Compared to a bare silicon germanium quantum dot array, the emission of a single quantum dot embedded in a photonic crystal cavity is dramatically enhanced at the spectral position of the allowed cavity modes. The first results of embedded silicon germanium quantum dots and photonic crystal cavities are indeed very impressive. There are, however, still challenges ahead. For example, room temperature emission is still too weak for many applications. We solve this problem by ion bombardment of the quantum dots during growth which results in greatly improved light emission properties. The next steps will include electrical pumping of our silicon germanium light sources and the monolithic integration into silicon chips to demonstrate the feasibility of silicon-based high-end devices with optical data processing capabilities.